It's 5 a.m. in January. The sky is like a mine shaft at the jungle refugee camp where sleep is at a premium. They almost look like fireworks, but they're heading for the ground. These canisters of CS gas designed to make you weep. From the fog above a swamp to a thick and creamy cloud, by the dozen load the landing in the centre of the crowd. Heartbeats quadruple with the rocket's downward arc, blue lights, white smoke, red sparks. Folk disperse like pool balls on a break. Distant smartphones follow it like snipers. Woolly hats and flip-flops taking cover where they can, the odd ironic cheer preceding chaos. The National Guard are going hard on unarmed refugees, ignoring shrieks of panic, humanitarian pleas. In riot gear, they circle the perimeter like sharks, blue lights, white smoke, red sparks. Blinded bodies dodge between grenades that cause concussion. If they're lucky, then the next lot might land on that tarpaulin. A well-prepared assault from the safety of the shadows, no warning, no discussion, no mercy. Between businesses and hand-built homes, it suddenly feels like trenches. Rubber, bullets, pummel flesh, the water cannon drenches. An air raid in the dead of night just bites. No barks, blue lights, white smoke, red sparks. Blue lights, white smoke, red sparks.